Hi everybody, this is Diane. I wanted to just show you a, a cumulative haul. I've collected a few things. This little pile here has just been a few things collected from here and there. And then I was waiting for my Stampin' Up! order, which took quite a while, but it did come today. <clears throat> so I figured I would show it all to you together. And I'll try to remember where I got the stuff. And it doesn't really matter if I don't remember. I did go shopping with my friend Debbie, and I went shopping with my sister, so I don't remember uh, which shopping trip it was where I got these items. I think I just got these three things. Oh, yeah, just these three things, maybe. Anyway, these were on clearance. So this is, even on clearance, it was $5, $4.97 from... I don't remember, Joann's, Michael's, one of them. Um, and it's just a really thick yarn. I wanted some of this thick yarn to make bows um, on the sides of my spines. And they had this one and they had another color that I didn't really want. And I saw the other ones that weren't on clearance and they were pretty expensive. I just went with this. I don't I don't know what the original price was, but I thought that's a color I would use. It's a pale blush color and some cream color. So we'll see. I'd like to just make some bows to hang off my spines. And then these were they were marked down just be well, it's not Christmas yet. So they were marked down um 40% or something like that. So I already have, I think I already have these two, but these might be bigger than the ones I have. But there's a sweater stencil in there. <clears throat> so I'm already collecting things for a Christmas sweater journal that I wanted to do. I was thinking about doing it this year, but I just, I couldn't do all the journals this year. So it would be um, a cozy journal, so I would feature hot chocolate and sweater patterns like that. So that's why I got this. It's a stencil. But it has these words. <coughs> Merry and bright, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, and winter wishes. Along with the uh, tree and the snowman. And then this one I liked. It's got the deer. Just um, pretty traditional elements. But they could be retro especially the stencil pattern that looks like a retro pattern to me and it just says Merry Christmas up here so these will get put away till next year because I bought them after my journals were already done I got some things at Walmart let's see these might have been from one of the craft stores too I don't I just don't remember where I got these, but I did get some things at Walmart. They sell Pioneer Woman products at Walmart and they had this box of washi tape, a five pack of washi tape. And I don't remember the price. I'm sure it wasn't super cheap, but I love Pioneer Woman. I love her colors and her designs. This one has a little pickup truck can you see it? Maybe the lighting's not great. But um, there's florals, there's a plaid with the flowers, and they're kind of narrow, maybe quarter inch, but some really pretty designs. They were back in the where the notebooks and calendars and things like that are. Uh, I was looking for a calendar to keep in my desk where I how I keep track of paying bills and stuff and I found a Pioneer Woman one of those too but that's already in my desk it's already in use um, but I found that and I found these I got two pads of them because I can use them in my journal and I can use them um, in my planner too so it's a weekly planner pad and they were on clearance for two they were originally only three so they weren't very expensive anyway but I had never seen them. 
and it doesn't say how many are in here. Nope, it doesn't. But there's quite a few. And I, for two dollars, I picked up two of them. So I don't know if these were at Walmart. I just don't remember where I got these. But this is a daily agenda planning notepad. It's by Post-it. So this was probably at Walmart. So these could be used in journals. And also these. This is by Post-it also. It says, must do, might do, and remind me later. I just thought these would be awesome in journals. A hundred sheets in each of these. And I got this at Walmart. No, I got this at Staples. So I don't, maybe these were at Staples. I was with my friend Debbie. That's what the shopping trip was. Um, so these might have been at Staples. But I know this was. There's a lot more index cards than I need here. But I love the pastel ones. It's hard to find the pastel colors and not the brights or the neons. So I grabbed them when I saw them. Sometimes it's just really hard to get into things. So there's three packs. And each pack has a hundred cards. <clears throat> I just want to see what the colors look like. I love the pink. It's three colors. Pink, yellow, and aqua, it looks like. Isn't that a pretty pink? Oh, there's more than three colors. So there's this kind of a goldenrod color and the yellow. That's so pretty. And a green and a blue. I like these three together. Yeah, that's a really good pack of colors. And another thing I got at Walmart. Well, this came off of a shirt. They have a new um, uh, brand of clothing at Walmart that looked more high-end. Uh, high-end for Walmart. And it's free assembly. And I bought a blouse. But I love this. Mix, layer, assemble freely. Perfect for junk journals, right? <laughs> So I'm going to use that. And then uh, I also got this pack at Walmart. When I found my planner, my um, calendar thing that I wanted for my bill paying, I found this along with it. And these were all bundled together into one pack. So I can use some of these pages in journals. These are Pioneer Woman. Look at how pretty that is. And I can just use it in gener for general use also. And the same with this. I like these, but they won't come with the paper. But it's just got a subtle pattern here. It says, to do sometime. Happiness blooms from within. And then this. How fun. So these are great for me to use and to put into journals. And my friend's coffee shop and antique store, she has some of her items are downstairs in the coffee shop. And I had seen this in the window and I needed... Actually, this act, this looks bigger than the one I used to have. Because I thought the one I had, it was the same book, had the same cover. And I thought it was the perfect size for making... Um, oh, what are they called? Domestic Arts Journals. So I saw this in the window and when I went back to get it, I think it is a little taller, but that's okay. I would still use that for domestic arts journals. I used to own this myself because I made some of these things when I was a young mom. Um, but 
I got rid of it and then I bought another one and made a journal out of it and so I got that one to make a journal and then while I was there I grabbed these to make domestic arts journals because I've uh, I've either run out or close to running out of books to use for domestic arts journals I haven't made one in a long time and she gave me a good deal on them now my Stampin Up order which just came today here it is. I got a roll of mint macaroon velvet ribbon, uh, five yards. It's very soft and pretty. Um, the reason I placed an order with Stampin' Up was because these are items that are soon to be discontinued. Some were on sale and some were not. I think this one was on sale. It's an embossing folder. But all of them are soon to be discontinued. So I wanted you to be able to see what it looks like. It's just a little floral pattern. So I just went in and did this. Isn't that pretty? I love that. I got a pack of colored vellum, 12 by 12 vellum. I don't think I knew when I ordered it that it was shimmer vellum. Maybe I knew, I don't remember. But it's pretty, I like it. It has a different feel to it because of the shimmer. I don't know, you can feel it. It feels regular vellum on the back, but it feels different on the front. There's this lavender, can you see the shimmer? And green. like a, I don't know, not quite olive green. And this pretty color, peachy color. And this color kind of matches my ribbon. Maybe that's mint macaroon. <clears throat> they often do special papers that line up with their, what they call in colors. And I'll talk about them in a little bit. And this bright, bright pink. These might be the in colors that are going out now. Every year they have a set of five special colors that they add to their line temporarily and they're called in colors. But they keep them in the line for two years. So for 2022 they had the colors from 2021 and then they added five new ones for 2022. So in 2023 they'll have the 2022 colors held over and then they'll add five more colors that's whenever their um, catalog comes out which is used to be June but I think it's earlier now so whenever their new catalog comes out their new colors will be available so those uh, vellum pieces might have been from their outgoing in color collection now this is a, a stack of papers um, I think it said there were 50 papers. Oh, here. 48. And it's called Gingham Cottage. And they're all, that's what it is. It's gingham, but it's like it's hand painted. So there's a black large pattern and then there's a small pattern on the other side. So it looks like Four, coat, four of each design. Look at how handmade that looks. But these are, uh, you know, you can use them in just about any kind of journal that you want to make the gingham design. I just thought they were fun. more black with a diagonal. Pink and white. Gray. It'll be the same on the back as the pink one. Well, that would be good for fall or Halloween. Got orange on the back, this mint color. And a 
gray with black. I don't use a lot of black, but black gingham might be okay. That's a pretty green. This one has black on one side and orange on the other. That would definitely work for Halloween. So that's fun, and they're usually you, you don't get a lot of paper with a Stampin' Up! pad, so I was surprised that there were 48 in here. <clears throat> Now, here's a fun one. There were stamps and dies I could have gotten, but I already have a set of gnome stamps. It's not something I think I would use a lot, so I just got the paper to go with the gnome stamps that I already have. I got mine at Hobby Lobby. This is called Storybook Gnomes, and this one has 12 pages, which is typical for stamping up, but they are good quality. They're not too thick. They're not hard stocky, but they're thicker than the really super thin paper. So they're a really nice weight. And they're 12 by 12 and they're double sided. So it's good quality. And uh, I don't think this was on sale, but it's going out. It's being discontinued. Uh, I was looking to see if it had a weight, but I don't see a weight. But look how cute these are. You get two of each design. There's another sweater pattern. They could be used for Christmas. There is no um, Christmas uh, imagery except it's wintry. Snowflakes. I might just have to make a winter gnome journal. Maybe I don't have to wait. Because I was thinking I would, you know, just do a Woodlands gnome journal or something, but since it's wintry, I might have to do it sooner rather than later. And it's got the little animals here. Mushroom houses with the window and the door. The little window up there. They're just so charming. There's a fox and a bird and a bunny, a moose and a deer. You can go to stampinup.com if you don't have a demonstrator. I went to, um, my demonstrator sent me a link and so I just went to her link and shopped under her name. So she got the, you know, credit for it. This one has little snowflakes. But you can just go to stampinup.com and shop their um, section of soon to be discontinued or clearance items or something like that. It's just really fun. This paper, I love it. So cute. And this pad of paper must have been on sale. They must have marked this one down. Um, it is called Waves of the Ocean. And I thought if I'm, if I, I have quite a few mermaid stamps, so I figured I might do some more <clears throat> mermaid journals. Again, there are 12 sheets, two of each design. So there's a beautiful pattern of ocean waves. Look at that color. Beautiful colors. <coughs> it doesn't look much like an ocean. It looks like just marbling, but it's pretty. And I would use it for mermaid or ocean journals. The colors of the ocean can be so beautiful. Not that I'm that familiar with the ocean. I don't live anywhere near an ocean, and I don't go to the ocean very much. But I was amazed when we were on our, I've only done two, well, I've done three cruises, but my husband and I did two cruises to the Caribbean, and I was just amazed at the color of the water in the middle of the ocean. So it's not all just blues and greens, and there's other colors in there too. 
very pretty. And the other things, the last two things, I think they were for demonstrators. <clears throat> but these were marked down. And they're so fun. This is a grid paper, so it was a, like to use with a project. But it's seasonal. It has the toile Christmas designs all around it. It has... It doesn't say how many pages are in it. But it's 13 by 13, so it's even bigger than a 12 by 12, obviously. And it's the grid paper, so I don't want to use it on my table as a work mat, work page, like doing my project on top of this, but I want to use it in a journal. And I could trim off the seasonal part and just use the grid part if I wanted to. And just put something over the Stampin' Up. And then this one is so fun. This one is definitely for demonstrator to use on her table as she is demonstrating the making of a card or project or whatever. And also, it allows the people that are there watching to see what the in colors are for that particular year. It says 2020 to 2022 in color grid paper. So this was the 2020 in color set and it's going out um, in 2023 when they introduce the new colors. And it's double sided. I just thought this would be so fun to put in journals. Look at the pretty colors. I don't think these are the same colors as that vellum. Although there, there was this kind of a color but I don't think it had the brown or the blue. I don't know. I don't remember. It doesn't really matter. But I just wanted wanted these to put in my journals and they're nice big pages when you are doing a big journal. So that was a really fun little haul from Stampin' Up, from Walmart, um, Staples, and Joann's, and maybe Hobby La or Michael's, I don't even remember. So, oh, and my friend's antique store. Thanks for watching. I hope you saw something there you liked. What did you like the best, whether it was new product or old product? Most of it's new. Um, yeah, tell me what you liked the best, and I'll see you in the next video. You can stay tuned to my videos and see some of these items being used in journals in the future. I hope you're having a creative day today. Bye-bye.